jobs. When it comes to tough jobs, nothing beats being a smoke jumper. Smoke jumpers are elite firefighters who risk their lives fighting forest fires in remote areas. They bravely parachute out of aeroplanes into burning forests, where they quickly get to work putting the fire out. A smoke jumper's duties are not easy. They have to do long, tough training before they can become part of a team. Smoke jumpers need to be very good parachutists and know how to read maps to get out of a forest safely. To be a smoke jumper, you need to be very fit and able to work for long hours in difficult conditions, says Zach Myers, a smoke jumper at West Yellowstone. We train all the time and we're always trying to improve. When they parachute into a fire zone, they wear a padded jump jacket and trousers, boots, gloves, a face mask, and a helmet. They also carry a backpack with some food and water, and a fire shelter. The aeroplane drops the tools and equipment they need to fight the fire. People think that smoke jumpers have a very dangerous job, but we don't see it like that, says Zach with a smile. This job keeps me happy. I love the feeling I get when I jump out of the aeroplane and fly through the air. I wouldn't want any other job in the world. Tough job. Tough job. Tough job. Beat. 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 Elite. 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 Risk. 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 Remote area. Remote area. Remote area. Bravely. Brave. Bravely. Parachute. Parachute. Put out. Put out. Duty. Duty. Training. Tra training. Fit. Fit. Fire zone. Fire zone. Padded. Padded. Face mask. Face mask. Helmet. Helmet. Backpack. Backpack. Drop. Drop.
Fascinated. Fascinated. Strange object. Strange object. Planet. Planet. Meteor. Meteor. Military plane. Military plane. Curious. Curious. Explanation. Explanation. Involve. Involve. Mostly. Mostly. Investigate. Investigate. Citing. Citing. Interview a witness. Interview a witness. Analyze. Analyze. Hotspot. Hotspot. Rooftop. Rooftop. Hillside. Hillside. Record information. Record information. Record information. Camcorder. Camcorder. Telescope. Telescope. Device. Device. Take up. Take up. Enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. Patient. Patient. Find out. Find out. Spot. Spot. Ghost hunting. Ghost hunting. Robot building. Robot building. Tornado chasing. Tornado chasing. Metal detecting. Metal detecting. UFO hunting. UFO hunting. UFO Hunter A strange shape is moving across the sky. Is it a bird? Is it an aeroplane? Or is it a UFO? Nick Porter is fascinated by the possibility of life on other planets. So in his free time, he tries to find out what these objects are. We asked him some questions about his unusual hobby. So Nick, why are you so interested in UFOs? Well, thousands of people see strange objects in the sky all over the world. Most of these are planets, meteors, or military planes. But what about the rest? I'm a very curious person, so I want to find an explanation. And what exactly does your hobby involve? Well, I started a UFO club, and we mostly investigate sightings. We interview witnesses and analyze videos and photos. Sometimes we go out to a UFO hotspot too. In fact, we're going out tonight. We usually go high up on a rooftop or a hillside. If we see something strange, we record as much information as we can. We use camcorders, cameras, telescopes and other devices. Then we analyse the information on our laptops. Maybe some of our readers are thinking about taking up UFO hunting now. What advice do you have for them? 
Well, anyone can become a UFO hunter. You just need to be enthusiastic and patient. You also need to join a local UFO club. This way, you find out where the UFO hotspots are, and you have witnesses if you spot something. So, what are you waiting for? UFO hunting is a lot of fun, and you never know, you might just turn science fiction into science fact. in the USA, around 60% of all university students have a part-time job to help pay for university or simply to earn some spending money. Students work in the evenings and at weekends. Their average wage is $15 per hour. All kinds of jobs. Jobs such as waiting tables, making deliveries, cashier work and working in customer service are always very popular. There are also some jobs available on university campuses such as a research assistant or a teaching assistant. Camp counsellors. During the summer holiday, a lot of university students choose to work at summer camps as camp counsellors. This way, they can spend time outdoors, organise sports and other activities, and have fun. There are many different kinds of camps, such as sports camps, language learning camps, and technology camps. Counselors get free room and board, and they also earn a good wage. Internships. For students who know what they want to do when they graduate, a summer internship is ideal. The job can often be low paid or even unpaid, but it's great experience in the student's chosen profession. For example, medical students often work as lab or research assistants. ICT students work as computer lab assistants and law students work as clerks for a law firm. The company sometimes offers the intern a job after they graduate. Cash. 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 Part time. Part time. Earn. Earn. Average wage. Average wage. Waiting tables. Waiting tables. Delivery. Delivery. Cashier, cashier, customer service, customer service, available, available, campus, campus, camp counselor, camp counselor, internship, internship, profession. Profession Experience Clerk Offer Offer I would prefer to work outdoors, perhaps as a camp counselor.
I like working outdoors and especially with anything related to sports. I think a camp counselor is a great job because you organize sports and other activities and have fun. I would prefer to work outdoors, perhaps as a camp counselor. I like working outdoors and especially with anything related to sports. I think a camp counselor is a great job because you organize sports and other activities and have fun. Job ad A is for a waiter or waitress. Hard working and reliable people should apply. Job ad B is for a shop assistant. Friendly and energetic people should apply. Good morning. I'm Simon Jones. Nice to meet you, Simon. Please have a seat. Thank you. So, Simon, tell me a little about yourself. Well, I'm 18 years old, I'm a student, and I'm looking for a part-time job to help pay for university. I see. Why do you think you'll be a good shop assistant? Well, I think I'm hardworking and honest. People also say I'm friendly and helpful. Do you have any experience in this type of work? Yes. I worked in a surf shop last summer. Here's a letter of recommendation. Oh, that's great. If we offer you the job, when can you start? I can start immediately. OK, Simon, I think that's all I need to know. I'll be in touch. Thank you very much for your time. Job interview tips. Getting through the difficult job interview process can seem daunting. So here's some top tips to get you through. Before the interview, research the organization well using the internet and any contacts you have. These days it's critical to ensure your LinkedIn profile is up to date with your career history, qualifications, as well as your skills and interests. It's also worthwhile ensuring you have at least a few recommendations from former colleagues or clients. You can also expect that an employer will do a Google search for your name before hiring you. If you have anything alarming publicly visible, make attempts to have it removed. Most interviewers use what's called star interviewing technique. They ask candidates to describe how they've dealt with challenging situations and tasks. They're listening to hear what actions you took and what results you got. You can prepare for this by thinking of stories from your career that demonstrate how you overcame a challenge using your key strengths. At the interview, make sure you dress to impress. Shine your shoes too. When you meet your interviewer, make eye contact when you introduce yourself and have a firm but not tight handshake. Answer the interviewer's questions with honesty and confidence. If you've thought about which stories you can tell to highlight your strengths, it shouldn't be too hard. Remember, interviews are meant to be two-way, so make sure you ask questions about the role, the team you'll be joining and the organization's goals. After the interview, show initiative by following up with a friendly email or phone call. You could even refer back to some issue you discussed to help them remember you. If you feel you gave a weak answer to a particular question during the interview, a good idea might be to email some more thoughts on that issue to show you're willing to take initiative to bolster areas of weakness. Waiting to hear back after interviews can be painful. The best thing to do is to try to stay positive and keep at your job search. Don't be disheartened if you don't get a particular role. 
There are many reasons employers might not continue with your application. Keep your chin up and keep moving. And if you do get the good news that you've been offered a role, it may be time to discuss your salary. If you're offered a much lower salary than you expected, don't reject the offer immediately. If negotiating doesn't work, you can try to be creative by agreeing to start on that amount on the basis that if you achieve specific milestones, then you'll be entitled to a certain salary bump within a certain period. With patience and with luck, you'll soon be on your way to a new job. So to summarize, make sure you've researched the organization properly. Update your LinkedIn profile and check yourself out via Google. Think about stories that demonstrate your strengths for star interviewing technique. Dress to impress, make eye contact and have a firm handshake. Ask about the team's development and its goals for the future. Don't forget to follow up after the interview. Be careful not to reject a low offer too hastily. And finally, keep your chin up and stay positive. Final, final, deep breath, deep breath, dive, carry on, carry on, surface, surface, hold a record, hold a record, air tank, air tank. Wetsuit, goggles, goggles, monofin, monofin, flipper, flipper, mermaid, mermaid, champion, champion, lung, lung, shrink, shrink. Double in size. Double in size. Something comes naturally. Something comes naturally. Meditation. Meditation. Hold one's breath. Hold one's breath. Distraction. Distraction. Bark. Bark. Totally silent. Totally silent. Environmental campaign. Environmental campaign. Take a deep breath. Sarah Campbell takes a final deep breath and dives into the sea. She goes down into the blue water and carries on going down and down. Soon, the people on the surface can't see her anymore. She doesn't have an air tank, just a wetsuit goggles and a monofin, a large flipper that makes her look like a modern-day mermaid. Sara is a world champion freediver and uses only one breath to take her as deep as she can go and back again to the surface. She holds four world records and a world championship gold medal.
Freediving is one of the world's most dangerous sports. On the way down, a freediver's lungs shrink to the size of a lemon, and on the way back, they double in size. But to Sarah, all this comes naturally. After years of practicing yoga and meditation, she can hold her breath for over five minutes, and her lungs are 22% larger than other women her size. Sarah feels completely comfortable underwater. I just jump in and feel terrific. There are no distractions, dogs aren't barking, phones aren't ringing, and nobody is making noise next door. It's totally silent. Sarah has a busy life and loves every minute of it. She's presenting a TV show, planning environmental campaigns, and training to set a new world record. Take care of orphans. Teach English. Build houses. Help protect an endangered species. Voluntourism. How to make a difference. More and more young people are taking on volunteer work nowadays. Some even travel to the other side of the world and do unpaid work for a charity or other non-profit organization there. They help to build homes for poor families, teach children English, take care of orphans, or help to protect an endangered species. There is a wide variety of voluntary jobs to choose from. A number of charity groups organize educational programs for children around the world. Many students volunteer for these types of projects. They teach subjects like English and mathematics to children while staying in their community and getting to know the people and their culture. It is also a great opportunity for them to work and train with local teachers and develop their own skills. It is a learning experience for both the children and the teacher. Young people who are good with their hands or simply would like to help in a very practical way can participate in one of the many construction projects. Several charity organizations help build houses or schools for poor children around the world. In the village of Camacui in Sierra Leone, for example, a team of young volunteers built a secondary school for poor orphans, giving them more opportunities. Other similar projects are going on across poor villages of Africa, making sure that kids get an education. For people interested in wildlife, conservation groups organize volunteer holidays throughout the world. You can help wildlife research in countries like Kenya and Botswana, or protect turtles in Mexico, Zanzibar or elsewhere. On Redang Island in Malaysia, volunteers come from all over the world to help conserve the endangered green turtle. Participants monitor the turtles that come onto the beach and protect them and their eggs. They also get to enjoy the beach and even snorkel with the turtle sometimes. A volunteer holiday is for people who want to make a difference in the world and are prepared to give up their own time, money and effort to do it. Volunteers have to be realistic though and understand that they cannot change the world in two or three weeks. To some volunteers, it seems that they are not doing much by helping out for only a couple of weeks, 
but in fact, every bit of help counts. Thanks to young volunteers, the lives of millions of people around the world are improving, and in their eyes, the sun is probably shining brighter than it used to. Volunteer work. Volunteer work. Unpaid work. Unpaid work. Charity. Charity. Non profit organization. Non-profit organization. Orphan. Orphan. Endangered species. Endangered species. Project. Project Community Community Develop skills Develop skill Develop skills Practical Practical. Participate in. Participate in. Conservation. Conservation. Wildlife research. Wild wildlife research. Protect. Protect. Conserve. Conserve. Monitor. Monitor. Effort. Effort. Improve. Improve. Hi Paul, how are you? Hi Sandy, I'm fine thanks. I'm just trying to plan my summer holiday. Oh, lucky you. I'm not going on holiday this year. Why not? Well, I've got a summer job as a dog walker, so I'm going to be busy every day. Wow, good for you. So are you going away with Shane again this summer? No, he's going to a summer camp in France to be a camp counsellor. That sounds interesting. Yes, but not as interesting as Fiona. She's going to spend the summer with a charity which helps endangered animals and the environment. She is going to volunteer with them all summer. That sounds amazing. Bridget's going to work as a waitress in a restaurant by the beach. Oh, what about Tony? Maybe I could go on holiday with him. No, you can't. Tony is going to spend the summer working too. He just got a job as a lifeguard. 
It seems like everyone is working this summer. Yes, Andrea too. She really wanted to find a job working with animals, but she couldn't find anything, so she's working in a shoe shop all summer. Maybe I should just get a summer job like everyone else. I think that's a good idea.